Good morning, we're off on another day of exploring the beautiful city of Prague. Wow, look at this cathedral, it's huge and gorgeous. So we're here in St. Vitus Cathedral, Vitus, Vitus Cathedral. One of those. Uh, it's one of the most important cathedrals in all of Prague. It's hosted all kinds of coronations for Czech kings and queens, um, and it is old. So uh, there was a foundation here before, but in 1344, King Charles IV uh, began construction on this giant gothic cathedral and it is really spectacular. I know you might be thinking, why is a wood floor so exciting? That's what I was thinking. But then I realized it was it's an it was one of the original wood floors, and it's been there for hundreds of years. We just left the palace, and now there's a cute little Christmas market in the courtyard. It's really really sweet. Beautiful buildings all around. It works with me a lot. Okay, we are currently in St. George's Basilica. This is the third of four buildings to go into when you're at the Prague Castle. And parts of this building were built by, in 920 by Prince Vratislav. We're in the Basilica, and it's home to St. Ludmilla's remains. There's a tomb here for her, um, and she is a uh, Bohemian Czech princess, but um, she's also the grandmother of St. Wenceslas, so uh, really kind of an interesting uh, family tree there. We are currently walking down the Golden Lane. All right, Greggy, which of the four buildings we went in were your favorite? So the cathedral certainly was amazing. I mean, it's been a long time since I've been in something like that that was that impressive on uh -huh. that scale. Uh, also, the Basilica was very, very cool. Um, and the Golden Lane, I, I would like, is just too busy. So it's there like was just way too many people. It's a small alley, and then there's all these small little houses and stuff. The armor display was really awesome, though. In the defense um, area. Yeah. yeah, so I would recommend that. But otherwise, I mean, it's a beautiful day. It's just totally underestimated how busy <laughs> it gets here, I guess, during Christmas season. But and just to give you time. an idea, it cost 32 euros for Greg and I to get in, and the girls as well. The girls were discounted. So it wasn't too badly priced, so that's Yeah, cool. and we've been here all day, so it's really no... And now we're going to go get something to eat. At the Christmas market. Let's go enjoy it. Okay, so my Czech language was really good. It had ketchup on it this time, and the last time I had it at the Basler Herbstmesse, it was from Hungary, and they didn't have ketchup on it. I think I'd prefer it without ketchup, but it was still good. Greg got ham like he got last night, the girls got hot dogs, so everyone is fed and happy, and we're gonna go continue walking through the city, go down to the main old bridge. We 
found another little Christmas market right by the bridge and we are going to get some hot wine. Cheers to another hot wine. Cheers. You need it on this cold day. <laughs> standing here on the Charles Bridge. It was named after King Charles IV, and for hundreds of years, it was the only bridge to connect both sides of the town over the river. It's um, gorgeous. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful piece of architecture. Still the stone cobbles and everything, it's really amazing. Uh, I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like it in my life before. So during the Advent season, all of these gas lamps are actually lit by a uniformed guy and he's his name is the lamp lighter and this goes back to around 1847 and again it's an annual tradition just during the advent season pretty neat So we just came to see if the synagogue might be open, but of course it's closed because it's Shabbat. But um, there are three synagogues in this area and I'd love to see them. So maybe next time we're here, we'll get to see them. And if you're wondering what Shabbat is, it's a Jewish holiday. That's right, every Friday night from sundown to Saturday night at sundown, it's when the Jews rest. We're eating at a restaurant called Yu Tree Yulinku. Not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. So we got some delicious goulash tonight for dinner, which is beef um, yumminess. And I got dumplings with mine, and Greg, you got potato pancakes. So we're excited to enjoy a nice hearty meal. Okay, that is a wrap on our amazing time here in Prague. We are going to bed soon. Get up and getting up in the morning and then hitting up our easy jet flight back to Basel. So thank you so much for watching. Thank, thank you for wandering along with us.